When FFI was started, there were basically three ideas. People wanted to develop a field and they wanted to um, develop an academic basis and rigor. And they started with the journal, that was the first idea. But then they got into this idea of peer learning, getting together for conferences. So they've been having conferences since 1988, which is two years after they were founded. And they've always been a lot about what's the cutting edge of the field, because there was no field, and um, how do we get people together who are interested in this, and also how do we get people together who are from different disciplines. So that's the main idea of these conferences. I think it's been reasonably stable, actually, for all the years that FFI has existed. Yeah, I think it's better probably in some ways but in other ways it's it's just an evolving thing because of the nature of the organization and of the field. I think it, it has evolved it's changed at the very beginning the idea was to have the organization sort of a third academics a third professionals a third family business members and owners and that worked a little bit as the field was young but then there got to be kind of a suspicion between the professionals and the families you know their organizations now that are for families only but I think that both the field and the families and the professionals professionals of all, they've taken it up a notch because there's more sophistication. They realize, the families realize they can ask certain things of their professionals and the professionals need some additional training. The professionals are not afraid that every other professional will steal a client. It's a much more open and congenial arrangement, I think partly just as a function of maturation as much as anything else. So the idea of having the families here, of course, is great. And when they bring the professionals with them, then I think it's kind of a, a chance for double learning if you know, if, if it really works. So it's very exciting, I think. And we find in the GEM program, where the courses are more or less organized for the professionals, about a third of the people that are participating are from family businesses. Some of them want to be like an internal consultant in their family. Others just want to have more knowledge about the professionals. And some of them want to actually work, go into the advising field. So it's very, very fascinating that they're finding their way back into the organization through education. Well, I think the conference in London is pretty interesting if they can pull it off. It's called Myths and Realities. So after 25, 30 years, a lot of what was conventional wisdom now has some data behind it. And there are things that I think are research that people wish weren't true. Um, one of the things being that the average family business fails in three generations. That's one way of looking at it, but there are many other ways. So if we can pull off, you know, okay, this is what we think is true, but research shows us this, or research shows this, and conventional wisdom says, you know, that's not right at all, and the researchers need to go back to the drawing board on this. That would be a very interesting and I think really fruitful thing for the field. So and I'm not sure what's next. One thing is getting research on practice. So now we have very little research on whether family councils, all these things do, what effect they have, you know, so that, that would be one thing. Another thing is just it could grow exponentially because the, there's, there's so many families out there, there are so many professionals out there. So would the board want to go in that direction? Would they rather try and stay really at the cutting edge? Or do they want to become very broad-based? I think you know that's a very interesting discussion which will take place and sooner rather than later.